This is the weekend edition of i Fiber One News, where we present some of the top stories from this week and your Labor Day weekend weather forecast. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. One of our top stories for this week was about a group of people sharing their love of cars and barbecue to help a local veteran. They cruise for a cause. This year's Warrior Cruise on Saturday in downtown Moses Lake drew more than 30 antique and modified cruisers in their hot wheels. Money raised by participants will go to Vietnam War era veteran David Adamson, who is suffering from a long time serious knee injury in a non combat accident. Donations will pay to retrofit Adamson's bathroom with a disabled access shower. Warrior Cruise event organizer Teresa Harrington and friend Nolan Dominguez came up with the idea, which Harrington said has become an annual event. Every year we can, we're going to have one here and we're going to either uh, donate it to a veteran, wounded warrior, um, or some serviceman of that kind um, and do something and keep all the money local. You know, I just think that's really important. Sometimes you donate and it just goes nowhere. You don't know where it goes, but I want something that stays here and make a huge difference in our community. Nolan Dominguez, who organized antique and custom car club participants in the cruise, explained how he and Harrington came up with the event. Dominguez drove his yellow lowrider Chevrolet in the cruise. I'm into lowriders and she likes the cruising thing and we just came up with it together. The cruisers ended up at Blue Heron Park where together they dined on barbecue. Harrington said the event will continue to benefit local veterans and wounded warriors. Well, my husband and I have uh, the Best Bass showroom here in Moses Lake. Um, and we specialize in uh, doing ADA compliant barrier free showers. And um, we've done six or seven for veterans in the area, in Grant County area. So it just kind of fit with what we do. Um, we were able to get uh, Best Bath to uh, donate it at their cost. So, um, you know, that's what all the money's going to go for, just to pay for the shower. And we have WTH Custom, which is our general contracting company, and we're donating all um, the installation. Uh, Pope's Plumbing is donating all the plumbing. And, um, you know, and so it's just something that a niche that we were already in and, you know, a need that this area has. David Adamson, who led the cruise on his custom motorcycle, said he was grateful for the group's generosity. Well, I love it, actually. You know, I'm an older guy and I got an older house. And, it, you know, if we, and it looks like we're going to have plenty of people, I get one of them fancy bathtubs with the low open doors and stuff. And I can actually use it because I'm, you know, tripping over stuff anyway. I'm Jeff Chu for i Fiber One News. Last weekend saw a group ready to race jet skis make the best of a canceled event by playing at Blue Lake. Northwest Jet Sport Association's Soap Lake Lava Lamp Jet Ski Regatta was a race that never happened. The association canceled the races Saturday and Sunday on the lake after several of the expected 30 to 40 jet ski racers did not show up. Association promoter Roger Harnack said some did not show up for personal reasons. Others opted out because there were concerns about Soap Lake's mineral content, which can be corrosive to jet skis. Others at the last minute decided uh, that the alkaline content of the lake was too high, given that World Finals is coming up. Uh, you know, when they wanted to keep their uh, race boat ready. With the races canceled in Soap Lake, association members instead visited Blue Lake Resort to practice Saturday. We've come back to Soap Lake the last couple of years just because uh, the community has been very welcoming and inviting. Harnack said the association would now consider if it will choose Soap Lake or Blue Lake for the races next year. I'm Jeff Chu for i Fiber One News. Now we take a look at a couple of people being sought by the Sheriff's Office. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. 
If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. Don't go away. We'll be right back.